Hey guys, I'm building this mobile telescoping gantry to help out around the house lifting some heavy items when I'm by myself. And I'm about halfway into the project. And one of the pieces of materials that it calls for is a four and a half by four and a half square tubing. Now none of the local steel suppliers have this size in stock and it's kind of expensive to get it shipped to the house. So I went a different route and I made my own. The material that I used to build it was flat bar. It's a four inch flat bar by with a quarter inch wall. I tacked it all up, made four outside corner joints, and then I stitch welded the whole thing. I was using 045 dual shield flux core. It's made by a Blue Demon Weld, and I'm using 7525 shielding gas. Now the reason why I didn't weld it solid is I wanted to keep it as square as possible, keeping distortion at a minimum, right? Uh, because it does need to be slid into a 5x5 five five square tubing with, uh, I believe it's a 3 16th wall. If I did the math correctly, it'll be about 1 16th of gap on each corner, I mean on each uh, each of the sides of this tubing. take a look at the uh, gauges here that baby is on empty and I had the uh, CFH at 45 and now it's about damn uh, what 15 but anyways I think I got my money's worth done alright guys so I finished Cleaning up the square tubing, knocked those BBs off, take the slag off. They slid into pretty good, as you can see on the video. And uh, next, the next part of the build is building the little small parts. It's the base for the long ram hydraulic jack. And uh, it's a bunch of little pieces, and I'm actually dreading this part because I'm cutting all these little pieces. And I did, I did a template here, I need four of them, they're half inch thick material, and then three eighths, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, I'm really dreading this because right now in the garage I don't have a plasma cutter or a, or a oxyacetylene torch, cutting torch, and I have to cut everything by hand with a cut off disc and everyone knows, and if you don't know, well now you know that it sucks using that to cut, you know, thick material or in general, right? Anyways, to save some time, I cut these templates out and instead of laying it out, you know, four times. I just did it this one time. Just trace the material so I can cut it. So uh, I want to apologize that I haven't uploaded a video onto YouTube in a while. So uh, I figured I'd try to capture as much of this project as possible, and uh, you guys can uh, watch along. But stand by for the next video. I'll uh, cut these pieces out, attack them up, weld them up, and uh, I'm actually going to switch over to straight CO2 for the rest of that for the rest of the welding on this project I ran out of 7525 I have a 20 pound bottle of CO2 and uh, we'll see how that goes 